Old Forester President's Choice has been popping up a lot, both on the resale market, the Louisville Distillery, and for the first time, Old Forester made it available online. With big drops of this hard to acquire single barrel release lately, I thought it would be kind of cool to talk a bit about the history of President's Choice, why it's so hard to find, and if the price is worth the chase. Stay right here, learn a little bit more about President's Choice. It's the Mash and Drum. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. from The Master and Drum, and welcome back to the show. Like, subscribe, and help me keep growing to that 100,000 subscriber milestone here in 2024. Appreciate the support, everybody. So before we dive into the bottles, let's talk a little bit about the history of this release, which is a throwback to historical selections of single barrels made in the 1890s and the 1960s. Now, back in 2018, when Old Forester opened their new distillery on Louisville's Whiskey Row, Old Forester reintroduced the President's Choice which at its core is a single barrel expression of Old Forester's most exceptional barrels selected by the president of Old Forester himself, only available exclusively at the Old Forester Distilling Company and limited Kentucky retailers. Now the idea and the theme of President's Choice is really based on a tradition of special selections by the president of Old Forester that dates back about 130 years. Now the bottle and label of today's President's Choice is a reference back to the 1964 style when then President George Garvin Brown II introduced President's Choice. Now the beginnings of these specially selected barrels of Old Forester, you have to go all the way back to 1890 when Old Forester found and President George Garvin Brown presented a personalized bottle to the governor of Kentucky, who at the time was a man named Simon Bolivar Bucker. Bucker, our prices have never been lower. With that, the program was first formalized in 1946 by Brown Foreman President and George Garvin Brown's son, Osley Brown. Now these notable selections were not available for purchase and only available to VIPs, executives, and other dignitaries. Now that product was sold by the barrel and each was personally selected by George Garvin Brown II. Now Mr. Brown passed away unexpectedly in 1969 and the last barrels personally selected by him were gone by 1972. Today, Old Forester President's Choice is an exciting but frustrating release each and every year. President's Choice doesn't have any official release time, a timeline, there's no telling when they're gonna drop. Although, since 2018, there have been about four single barrel releases a year. Now back in 2018, when these were reintroduced by then Master Taster Jackie Zykin and current President Campbell Brown, these were about 85 bucks. And being single barrels, the ages and proofs all change. Generally, you see them at a minimum of six years old or six summers, as the label states. But this year we saw a 10, 11, and even 12 summers release, both at the distillery and for the first time sold online. Now these are all bottled at barrel proof, which makes these even more sought after, uh, since other than the barrel proof single barrels, these are the only other bottlings from Old Forester that are barrel proof, if you don't count King of Kentucky and Woodford batch proof under the Brown Foreman umbrella. On top of that, as most things are currently sought after, there was also a big price increase for these, which makes the SRP now at about $225. So pretty big increase from back in 2018. Now, a while back when I had Jackie Zykin on the show, she said that there was a specific process for uh, President's Choice. And basically she personally picked a bunch of barrel samples for President Campbell Brown to make his personal selections. Those barrels selected would then become President's Choice. Now, I'm not sure if current master taster Melissa Riff does the same thing, but hopefully I could talk to her soon and find out more. All right, so today I have two President's Choices. I have one from a while back. This one is Nine Summers, and this one, which is one of the newer bottlings and I got to borrow from a buddy of mine, this one is Ten Summers. Now there is a small difference in both of these bottles. As you can see, the bottle from 2019 that I have that says nine summers on it is all handwritten. The nine, the proof, all written by hand. Now the bottles that were released at Father's Day or the newer President's Choices, you can see that it's done by printed font. So just a small tweak, a small difference between then and now. All right, so let's pour my nine summer one. And I'm actually gonna open my buddy's 10 summer one. So what we're gonna do is just kind of taste through these and see if there are big differences in the single barrels. 
uh, cause generally these, when you buy them are pretty much a roll of the dice. You really don't know what you're getting, if it's a good single barrel or not. All you know that if it's barrel proof, it's hard to get and that you're gonna have to pay a little bit over 200 bucks to get one, so. All right, so this is the nine summer one. This is the one back from 2019 and it still smells awesome. How do I say this? This bottle in particular is the way I wish Old Forester 1920 smelled now or the way Old Forester 1920 used to smell. Now, Old Forester 1920 I feel like is heavy banana, but on this one, you get a little bit of the cherry, the chocolate, that those are the those are the notes that I miss from uh, the old 1920. But you could also pick up some oak here. And again, as I normally get, I get a little bit of that nail polish remover note in, uh, in Old Forester. Sometimes it's overpowering, sometimes it's not. This one isn't too bad. All right, let's go to the 10 year and see what we get. I keep saying 10 year, it's 10 summers. I'm sorry, it's 10 summers, not summers. <laughs> All right, well this smells even better than this uh, nine summer one. There is a very prevalent dark fruit note right up front. I'm not even getting any banana here, at least in the beginning. Again, this is a fresh pour, but this is an absolute caramel bomb. Caramel and dark fruit. This has a little bit of like a toasted bourbon type flavor to me where I, I get a lot of gingerbread cookie with a lot of the cinnamon. There's some marshmallow there. But on top of that, there's, ni there's a nice dark fruit punch to it. I don't think it's cherry. This is coming through almost more like a little bit of a, like a raspberry, which is kind of nice. As far as noses go, I like both of them. I think the nine summer one gives you a little bit more of an old school, you know, feel to it, given that it's from 2019. But this recent one, this 10 summer one is even darker. Well, okay. Now the banana is starting to come out a little bit. I think as it opens up, but it's still a darker profile than generally what we see in old Forrester when most of the old Forrester products are usually around four or five years old. So, all right, let's try the nine summer one. This is the old Forrester profile I want. Heavy vanilla, chocolate, cherry, tons of spice. Again, that 18% rind, the mash bill comes through. To me, this bottle, I'm glad I rolled the dice on because this is the profile that I wanted from Old Forester. I feel like the profile now, it's not as dark as it used to be. All right, let's try the 10 summer one. Wow, big difference. This gets you even for a year. And the difference between years, between 2019, 2018-ish until today, this is one of the darkest Old Foresters I think I've had. Wow, again, that toasted oak note that comes into the fold. A little bit of a maple syrup vibe comes into the fold here, like a dark maple syrup. You need another sip of that one. Hint of molasses, maybe like a flat cherry cola note. This, oh my gosh. This, this is what's so frustrating about President's Choice because you can get barrels like this and Again, there's just no rhyme or reason for the drops. Obviously the rhyme or reason for the latest drops was Father's Day. But beyond that, you just never know when these are gonna hit. And when they do hit, you have a possibility of getting something like this. This is, I mean, maybe other than some older birthday bourbons, like back 2018, 2017, 2016, you know, King of Kentucky will leave out of the mix here, but these are probably some of the best products that you're gonna taste from Old Forester. They're delicious. Both of these, I think, are a great indicator of how good Old Forester can be at a higher age. Now, the difference with the President's Choice too is I think these two bottles are better than any probably recent birthday bourbon that I've had in a long time. So for me, to pay 200 bucks for it, to 225 bucks, I should say, I think is worth the roll of dice because generally if you're paying more for a birthday bourbon or you know secondary market value for a birthday bourbon these absolutely kill birthday bourbon for me again they're barrel proof they're usually around the same age as birthday bourbon uh, if not older depending on the year and I don't know there's just more flavor more viscosity I absolutely love these bottles I just, again, it, it's a frustrating release because you just never know when they're gonna drop. So I know these are really hard to get and kind of a pain in the ass to get. And a lot of these that were dropped on Father's Day ended up on the resale markets for 600, 800. Uh, the 12 summer one I thought was going for about $1,000. I mean, just insane prices. And I will say kudos to Old Forester because they did put some of these online. Obviously they sold out immediately. 
but there's got to be a point where these become more readily available or these are dropped a little bit more often. I know Old Forester has just a ton of barrels that they have to work with. I'm not sure what the, you know, that selection process is like for a President's Choice as far as, you know, the Master Taster going in there and pulling barrels for Campbell Brown, but this is some of the best Old Forester stuff that I've tasted in a long time. And I think that's saying something because Old Forester does put out some good whiskey. But like if you even take the 10 year this year and put it against this, the 10 year doesn't even come close. So if you have a chance to get it, roll the dice. Chances are you're gonna be pretty happy with your purchase. All right guys, well hope you enjoyed this video here on the Old Forest of President's Choice. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below and please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram. Let me know down in the comments if you were one of the lucky ones uh, this past Father's Day who got one of these. Let me know what you think about it. Did you crack open your bottle? Uh, do you think it's maybe the best Old Forester you had? Uh, always love talking to you guys. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. Cheers. I'll see you next time right here on the Mash and Drum. This 10 year is stupid good. Thank you.